All right, so now we're looking at the catches section of the Fish Hunter app, and this is very simple to use. So at the top here, we have the recent tab selected, and what that lets us do is just scroll through, very similar to how a Facebook news feed works on a smartphone, and we can scroll through to see all the great catches that were caught out there by different fish hunters and submitted into the app. And if you want to like someone's picture, the little heart icon there, you just click on that and give them a quick, simple like. And yeah, you can just scroll through here, and we can look at some more information about different fish, and let's say, for instance, we want to know more about this guy's catch. We can just click on his picture there and we're brought into this screen where we see all the information about that catch that he submitted. So we know that he caught that on a worm and the weight was two pounds. We know it was a sunfish. Now, if we want to know more information about the location of that catch, because he has his location shareable, we click on the map there and we can see where that was caught. And if we want, we can really zoom in on it there to, to pinpoint the area. And in an iOS device, we can actually navigate to this location by clicking on this tab. And it tells us that it was 2,000 miles away. And um, yeah, so for me, that's quite a long ways away, but it's a great way to see uh, all the different areas where fish were caught and how to get there. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to submit your own catch into the Fish Hunter app. And it's very simple. Across the bottom here, at the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see catch. You just tap on this icon and your location will automatically be brought up for you. So all you have to do now is click on next and you'll see my location's been entered in for me. The next thing I would suggest doing is putting or submitting a photograph of your fish. So you just tap on the plus icon there and I'll just load a fish shot from my photo library. And down here I have my fish hunter shots and we'll load up a picture of one of my largemouth bass catches recently. So now my picture's in there, I have my location. Now we can add some more information about that catch. So I'll go into species and just click on species and that was a largemouth bass. We see that right there. And you can scroll through for all the different species or just type it in in the search bar at the top. So we'll click on largemouth bass and we can click on the bait information. I caught that particular bass on a worm. So I'll just click on worm and we can add our weight. So I'll just put it was about five pounds if I recall. And we can add in the length of the fish. I'll leave that alone for now. And then we have our catch note. If you click on catch note, you can add a lot of detailed information in there about your catch, which is a great thing to do because over time, as you add more catches into your catches section, you'll look back and you'll have this great log book of all the fish you've caught and all the details of how you caught that fish. We'll just go back for now. And then if we scroll down a bit further, we have our privacy settings. So if you want to keep this catch completely private and not have it show up in the fish hunter um, recent catches section, down here you just click on private. Now this catch is completely private and will only show up on your phone. However, if you want to share it but keep your location uh, private, we'll just turn these back off and we'll turn on location, our private location, we'll just turn that on. And now this will show up in the app, but the location will be private so you won't give away your secret spot, for instance, to other fish hunters. For now, we're going to keep everything shareable. And we'll click on save catch. Okay, so now we'll just drag down here. To, on the recent catches section to refresh it. We'll just scroll up and you can see that my largemouth bass catch is now in there. And if we click on that, we can see my location is in there. And we can go back and here's all the information about my catch. Now as well, if you wanna share this picture into different social media outlets, you can just click on the share button here and you can share that to Twitter, Facebook, or email. So for instance, for now, I'll just share this on Facebook tap on Facebook, and simple as that, all my Facebook friends can see my big largemouth bass catch. Okay, and now we'll look at the My Catches section of the app, so we'll just click on My Catches here, and this is where you'll see all the catches that I've submitted into the app show up. Now this is a great way to track all of your fishing, and it acts as a really cool logbook to help you remember how you caught all your fish. So, for instance, let's say today I wanna go out rainbow trout, fishing and I want to remember how I caught my last one, well I can click on my picture there, it shows me my location, and I can go back into here, all my uh, information about the bait and the weight of the fish is there, and then going back to when I talked about the catch notes, why that was so important, is because now I have all my notes that I entered in about that rainbow trout catch, and I can review that, which will in turn help me to catch another rainbow trout today. And if you want to click on the picture, you can see your picture again, and we'll just uh, leave there for now, and we'll go back. Now one last thing is if you want to re-edit some of the information about one of your catches, it's very simple. You just click on the, the picture of the fish there and the top right hand corner you'll see an arrow. You click on the arrow 
and you can do some more editing to your fish. And if you want, you can even delete that catch from the app by clicking delete at the bottom. It'll ask if you want to. For now, we're gonna say no, but that's how you would delete a, a catch from the app. And that is a very simple overview of the My Catches section of the Fish Hunter app.